Jesus, can we just agree that whenever God wants to do something, the devil is going to go all after it. Believe me, there are people this morning that the Spirit of the Lord has got on schedule to be blessed this morning by this word, by this broadcast. The people the Lord has on schedule to be healed, and there are people the Lord has got on schedule to be delivered. So the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. And those of you who have the understanding of spiritual things, and you understand the level of excellence that we bring in terms of how our ministry is communicated to the nations, you know that, amen, it goes beyond what you see on the surface level. But God always gave grace. I want us to just pray this morning, and to permeate the atmosphere with the blood of Jesus. I want us to release the presence of God and the anointing of the Holy Spirit into your homes. The Bible calls Satan the prince of the power of the air. And once you are moving through that frequency of the air, amen, just broadcasting the word of God to thousands and millions of people in their homes, amen, the enemy is it's, it's just it's, it's, it's fighting. But God gives grace and victory. There's victory on your life today. I want you to please, let's just do a little bit of a housekeeping in the next couple of minutes. If you are hearing me clearly, and if the video is quality, you can hear me, you can see me, you're able to receive the word of God. I just need about five people to see apostle. Amen. Everything is good. And we'll be able to hit the road and take off. And the second thing I want you to do, please, is to begin to pull people in. A lot of people are not sure which of the links to kind of connect with. And so you are here now, you know, they need to know, you pull them on, because we will not miss what God wants to do today. Some of you are watching the rebroadcast, the same anointing that's present with us here in the live broadcast, right here, right now, as I'm here this Friday morning, that anointing is equally present in your life, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on, everybody, let me know if you could hear me, if, okay, sound is excellent. God bless you. Amen. I see a lot of women of God. I see a lot of men of God that are here connected, receiving the word of God. We stand together. I want some warrior worshipers to come through this morning as we navigate this frequency together. And we release the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Praise the Lord. Jesus wins every time. We are not oblivious of Satan's strategies. And we have the winning advantage of the Spirit of God. You have to be armed with that revelation as you sword your way from victory to victory. Knowing that God is standing with you. Knowing that God is with you. Oh my God. Now, now this morning, the Holy Spirit wants to take you into a deeper realm of connection with God. The Lord has been dealing with me in terms of depth. 
And we're going to get into that in a minute. Just about the floating axe head. That's what the Lord placed in my heart to share with you today. And we're going to pray on that. We're going to use that as a powerful revelation. An instrument for the release of the glory of God. Please, saints, let's dive into the realms of the Holy Spirit. You can be having fellowship with the Holy Spirit. And then you could form friendship with the Holy Spirit. Somebody say fellowship with the Holy Spirit and friendship with the Holy Spirit. The fellowship with the Holy Spirit is when you're talking to him. The friendship with the Holy Spirit comes when you are doing the things that are in alignment with the element of the Spirit. Because he's going to order your steps in this season. So let's have fellowship with him and let's cultivate friendship, alignment with the Holy Spirit. Father, we worship you today. Come on, everybody. Go ahead and begin to share. I want you to pull people in. There's a lot of people who do not know, amen, exactly which of the links to connect with. I want you to pull them in. Tell them. Click on the link. Share all of this on WhatsApp. Share it on Facebook. Let everybody know. Tell all of your girlfriends. Tell all of your neighbors. Tell, tell, tell people. Be intentional about this. Pull people in because this Friday morning, the Lord will have his way in our midst. The Lord Jesus will have his way. The Lord Jesus will have his way. I'm going to say it again. The Lord Jesus Christ, he will have his way. He will hold us up as we recklessly abandon ourselves under the mighty hand of God. I see the fire of the Holy Spirit today. It's so strong, God's people. I sense his presence. I sense his glory. It's so strong. My God, I thank you. Can we just worship God, everybody, please? Can we just tell him how great he is? Holy Spirit, thank you. Everybody, go ahead and give him the glory. Give him the praise. Sweet Spirit, I thank you. I worship you, Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, everybody, give him the glory. I feel God's anointing. It's so strong. Lord, we give you praise. I want you to lift your hands in worship wherever you are watching around the world. I want you to give God praise. I want you to worship at his feet. Father, we worship you. Father, we, there will be no other God in our mouth. There will be no other name in our mouth except the exalted name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the miracles that you're doing up on this altar. It is not unto us, but unto your name that we give the glory. Father, we thank you for the power that works in us according to the power that work in us, according to the glory of God that's moving in us, according to the anointing of God that's upon us. Lord, we give you the glory. Lord, we give you the praise. Lord, we exalt your holy name. Lord, we adore your holy name. Lord, we magnify your holy name. Lord, you know things that we don't know. Lord, you see what we don't see. Lord, we cannot claim any intelligence in your presence. Father, we lay our strength down. And Lord, we, we admit that we need your strength. In the name of Jesus, Father, we admit that we need your glory. Lord, we had come on somebody. I'm just going to stay here and worship. Amen. You know, we don't do activity here. We navigate frequency. And I'm going to stay here. I just need some warrior worshipers. I sense the fire of worship upon people today. Everybody go ahead and put it there. The fire of worship. I sense the fire of worship upon your spirit, upon your mind, upon your soul, upon your consciousness, upon your emotions. In the name of Jesus, I sense the fire of worship. Go ahead, type the words, the fire of worship. In the name of Jesus, be released in this place today. Father, release worship anointed. Father, release the spirit of liberty upon God's people. The spirit of freedom. Father, we tap into that frequency in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, release the spirit 
of miracles in this place. Activations for miracles. Activation for the move of God. Activation for the spirit of glory. Activations for the spirit of revelation. Activations for the spirit of breakthrough. Activations for victory against all hordes of hell. Activations over uh, for, for the power of the Holy Spirit over demonic activities and satanic operation activations in the name of Jesus we receive the wave of God the spirit of God the move of God the power of God the mind of Christ the victory of Christ Lord release it now in the name of Jesus Christ Lord we give you the glory Lord, we give you the glory. Leke mando kosakete, li paroso kate. Come on, I see the the incense in the God realm. Praise God, it's not a physical thing, but I see the smoke rise at the altar. I see the prayer of God's people this morning is sanctified by the blood. I see the spirit of release. I, I begin to see everything that is clogged and everything that is tight and everything that is out of its place come together I release the spirit of joy I rebuke every heaviness in the name of Jesus come on somebody I rebuke heaviness I rebuke whatever is trying to infiltrate your inner being with a spirit of despair a spirit of, of depression I cast it up right now there is joy you rise up in strength rise up in grace rise up in liberty rise up in clarity rise up in purpose rise up in power rise up in grace rise up in productivity rise up on the cutting edge of the great eagle rise up in the anointing of God rise up in the authentic expression of your prophetic destiny rise up unhinged rise up unrestrained right now in the name of the Lord Jesus come on somebody work with me now the spirit of grace is here the spirit of God is here the spirit of liberty is here come on receive it you got to be light amen so the wind can pick you up if you're heavy if you feel if you're thinking about the things going on around you if you feel like praise God your inner being is just way down that's the attack of the enemy if you're thinking about the things that seem to be negative or the things that are working against you that's the attack of the enemy but if you understand amen that the Holy Ghost will send the chariots of fire and you position yourself in reckless abandonment and a spirit of surrender and a spirit of humility and you stay on the cutting edge of the spirit on the trajectory of God's power you're gonna see that he will shift something and that's what I want you to experience I don't want you to amen be operating just within the framework of your lips and mouth I want the fire to rise from your belly and once you get that shift you're gonna know it and I'm just gonna stay with you until by the grace of God I get your inner man to align with God I get you to begin to pray in the Holy Ghost come on somebody begin to release activations right now in the name of the Lord Jesus the Bible say building up yourself upon your most holy faith you pray always in the Holy Ghost you know how we do it right here in the name of Jesus Christ come on I need I need intercessors I need men of God women of God come and come through this morning in Jesus name you have authority over the atmosphere that you live in you have authority over the region that God has placed you in you have authority over the industry that God has planted you in you have authority in the area of your family you have authority in your job in your career in the name of Jesus come on somebody begin to amen find the flame in the name of the Lord Jesus release power Power, release grace release the glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ come on somebody we release the blood we ask the blood of Jesus to move over our lives we ask the blood of Jesus to move over our spirit we ask the blood of Jesus to move over every individual that's connected today receive the blood I bind every spirit of condemnation I bind the accusing voice of demons I bind every whispering spirit of confusion I bind every spirit of 
conflict, inner conflict. I bind every bipolar disorder. I bind every depression, acute depression, clinical depression. I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you, spirit of doubt. I bind you, spirit of fear. I bind every spirit of restlessness. I rebuke every spirit that contradicts the frequency of the spirit of God. I ask the glory of God to superimpose your inner man right now. God, I thank you for moving in this place today. Please keep pulling people in. We're going to get to some realms today that in the name of Jesus, by the time this encounter is over, you are going to begin to have miracles literally on your phones. You're going to begin to have phone calls because we're going to push hard in the realm of the spirit and we're going to see the manifestation of the glory of God. I want you to surrender to God right now because he's doing something that only God himself can do not just on the outside but in the inner working of your spirit. There's glory, there's grace, there's power, there's an anointing, there's a possibility. It's coming together for you. Thank you Jesus. Oh hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. Give the Holy Spirit glory and praise and honor and power because of what God is doing in this building today in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, we exalt you. You are moving. You are speaking to us and we hear your word and we move at the frequency of your spirit and our lives will never be the same again in the name of Jesus. Now today, you're going to join me to, in the book of First Kings chapter 6. Let's run with the spirit of the spirit of God. We have a lot of grounds to cover today. There's a lot of items that we're going to be praying with today by the grace of God. And we believe in God for grace. Amen. We believe in God for grace in the name of Jesus. Second Kings chapter number 6. Amen. Glory to God. Come with me to Second Kings chapter number 6. Hallelujah. I feel God's anointing here. Amen. Second Kings chapter number six. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, and the sons of the prophet. I'm in verse one. And the sons of the prophet say to Elisha, behold, now the place where we dwell with thee is too straight for us. The word straight there means it's too small. The place where we are living is too small. Do you feel like right now? There's a constraint around you. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Do you feel like right now there's a constraint around you? Listen, if you feel like that, it's a good sign. If you feel like where you are now can no longer hold the capacity and the expression of what God is releasing in your life in this season, it's a good sign. And you know what that means? It means that you are growing. It means that you are increasing. It means that you have outgrown the place where you are. Now, as good as that sign is, you have to understand that as long as there is that constraint that still holds you and inhibits your expression, you'll never be able to fully step into what God is calling to be the next capacity of what he wants to do in your life. So at this time, there's only one thing that the Holy Spirit will do. He will expand you. He will enlarge you. He will, he will take away the limitation out of you. He will take away the things that holds you in and hinders you. Now, this is the level that I feel that's a vertical alignment and that's a horizontal alignment. The vertical alignment brings you in a prophetic stirring. It's like a travailing inside of your spirit where you know by the spirit of God that there's a breakthrough that's imminent. That God wants you to cause an enlargement. You see, a lot of people oftentimes will begin to navigate about everything and anything first from the intellectual. I know when the Holy Spirit 
is working inside of me for a shift. Every major shift that I've had in my life has come not from my mind. It came from the place of encounter. And the thing about God giving you encounter is that you cannot deny that you have met God. It gives you a powerful, number one, revelation, and number two, conviction. You know that God is speaking to me. A lot of people moving in the flesh. A lot of people going where their friends are going. A lot of people are doing what everybody else is doing. What is popular, what's selling, what's trending. But when God truly speaks to you about shift in your life, it comes by revelation and it comes with a conviction. Your inner man will pick the frequency of God that it's time for a next level. And I know some of you have had a restlessness that you cannot understand. The Lord is just causing you to dig deeper. The Bible said the spirit of God such at all things. It's like the Google. You know, when something, you kind of plug in a data, you want to get some information, it goes to work. It says, I'm working on this. I'm working on this. You may not have first heard, amen, the crescendo or the result of what you want, but your spirit is just, is just dialing. Your spirit is just navigating a new realm, a new frequency of the spirit of God. Deep calls to deep. Something is staring inside of you. And that's what you're feeling right now. I know I'm speaking prophetically to you. I know God is dealing with you on this level. I know that you feel an imminent breakthrough. And I know that the devil has been working over time just to try to keep that frequency from coming into full calibration. Because Satan knows the moment this revelation hits your spirit and the moment you get the clarity of what God is calling you to do, you will be unstoppable. And that's why the Holy Ghost told me to come here and tell somebody, it's time. It's time, saith the Spirit of the Lord. Type the words there. This is the altar of fire. It's the place of miracle. It's the place of the birthing of destiny. It's the place of, of, of activating and releasing capacity and ministry and, and businesses and marriages and souls and our family being set free and, and our homes being delivered and God's people being empowered on the frequency of the Holy Spirit. And I want you to believe it. Today, when I tell you in the name of Jesus, it's time. It's time, oh God. Listen to me. It's time for the miracles that you promise us. It's time for that woman of God to move out of just enough into more than enough. It's time for heaven to shake things around you. It's time for revival. Personal release of power, activation, release of miracles. I see this miracle every time all around me. People getting healed, people getting saved, deliverance on all levels. It's time, Lord. Come on, somebody, please. This is, this, this is serious. You have to know when the Lord says the place where you are is too straight for you. Many times you want things to change and some kind of a next level reality to begin to manifest at the point where you are standing. But hear what the Spirit of the Lord says. If you don't move, you don't see the next door open. Listen, doors do not open until you stand before it and you begin to knock those doors. A lot of God's people, they want to stay on this side of this room and they want to be able to see through into the other side of the room and say, what's, what's on the other side? If I don't see what's on the other side, I'm not going to move. I'm not going to, amen, step my faith in for what I don't see. Come on, somebody. If you see it already, what do you need faith for? If you see what's on the other side, what, what do you need faith for? God says, right now, all I want is for you to recognize in the workings of your spirit that this place where I am at, this level where I'm at is too straight and the spirit of God is calling me to a whole different level and I'm going to move there by faith. I'm going to move there by the spirit of God. I'm going to move there with alignment. I'm going to move there with clarity. I'm going to move there with purpose. I'm going to move into that level <clears throat> with accuracy, with precision. I seek God for this season. I hear God for this season. I move by faith with God for this season. My steps are ordered by the Spirit of God for this season. That person, you're feeling all kinds of rheumatism pain in your joints. You're feeling all kinds of arthritis pain in your joints. In the name of Jesus. 
Even now, you're starting to feel it right in your spine from the back of your neck. I'm talking to somebody. All the way down to your lower back, excruciating pain. You've been on painkillers in almost uh, just over, you know, round the cycle over the past three, four days. God is healing you now. In Jesus' name, I rebuke the spirit that's holding your back. I curse it to go. Get out now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the altar of fire. We disseminate the virtue for healing. Now, let him move out of this place and hit your life, hit your home, hit everything that you're doing in the name of the Lord Jesus. I feel the anointing. There's somebody that has chills and you're just uh, shaking because you're just overwhelmed with a strange disease that's causing your mouth to be uh, bitter. You have be bitter bitterness in your mouth and you have a, a dizziness in your eyes. Jesus healed that person. Now be healed and be made whole in the name of Jesus. Get up, get up, get up and be healed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody has uh, a, a, an interview for a job today. I ask favor to come upon you. You're watching me right now and you're starting to even prepare and you're telling the Lord, I just need this one to go through. This is your day of favor. If that's you, if I mention anything that pertains to you, please, I dare you to go now to the comment section and type, this is my word. This is what God promised me. And I'm receiving this word in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's a God alignment right now in this place. And we are on that cutting edge. And we use our mouth as a weapon to disseminate the realm of the spirit. Things that only God himself can release. Can manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now hear me God's child. When you move, God move with you. There is no day that you move. When you move, a lot of you are like, Lord, move, and I'm going to follow. No. He says, I will order your steps. Because God is constant, and he's a moving God. In Genesis, the Bible says, the spirit of God was moving. He's constantly moving. It's you that's not moving. God is moving. People pray, Lord, move. No, God is moving. It's his people that have to move. There's never been a time that the spirit of the Lord is not moving. Scripture says, for the eyes of the Lord, he runs to and fro the earth. He's never, ever, you know, settled in, in, in a place of redundancy. Our God is a moving God, and our God is a speaking God. And even now, God is moving. So this is what you're going to begin to declare, and I want you to say it in the comment section. I'm moving with the rhythm of the Spirit. Put that word there. I'm moving with the rhythm of the spirit. This past Wednesday, God told me that a lot of people are moving, but they are not aligned on the speed that God wants them to move on. So when God is saying, move by 30, 30 miles an hour, some are moving by 3 miles an hour. When God says, move by what, 300 miles an hour, because I've given you a jumbo jet anointed. When God says, move by a 3,000 miles an hour, because where I'm taking you to is by supersonic speed of the Spirit of God. It's not enough that you're moving. You've got to move by the rhythm and the speed of the Spirit of God. Because I'm telling you something, saints, something is about to break loose over your life, and it's not going to be usual, Makia Patosate. Father, I declare and decree whatever it is that is slowing down the speed of your people, I command it to be taken out of the way in the name of Jesus. I command things that are trying to force you out of alignment with God, I command it to be broken down right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever is trying to create the spirit of restraint upon your life, I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. Come on, walk with me saying whatever is trying to limit the expression of your spirit and your anointing I command it to be broken down in the name of Jesus. Whatever Satan might try to reintroduce into your life which God set you free from I command the power of God the spirit of the Lord to raise up a standard. Amen. In the name of Jesus we declare decree today that we are moving on the rhythm of the spirit. We are moving on the frequency of the spirit we are moving by the mind of Christ we are moving by the 
glory of God. We are moving on the wings of angels. We are moving, amen, in alignment with God. We are not going to move by the dictates of the flesh or by how the natural world operates. In other words, things that would normally take people a specific timeline based on expert's opinion. The Lord says, I'm going to make it quick, quick. I love it. When the Bible says, I will do a quick work and I will cut it short in righteousness. And you've got to understand that you cannot have your mind stuck in what you see in the natural and still be able to release the expression of your faith and believe God for the impossible. And if you're going to believe God for the impossible in this season, you ought to be comfortable to say to yourself, I know things don't work like this normally, but God has moved me away from the normal realm of reality. I'm in an extraordinary and supernatural frequency of the Spirit of God and I refuse to settle for what is mundane and I refuse to settle for what is common. I refuse to settle for what is ordinary because I'm riding this wave of the Spirit of God that is on my life in this season. I'm a man of destiny. I'm a woman of destiny. I've got a place in God's alignment. I've got a place on God's schedule and I command those things to begin to come together right now and move as God is moving in the name of Jesus the Bible says in verse 2 he says and they spoke to Elisha the sons of the prophet they said to Elisha let us go we pray thee unto Jordan and you know what Jordan represents Jordan is the place of encounter Jordan is the place of revelation Jordan is the place of open heaven. Jesus was in Jordan River when the heavens opened and the Spirit of God came on him in form of a dove. And the voice of the Father spoke through the clouds and said, This is my son in whom I'm placed. That is the encounter of Jordan. Let's go to River Jordan. The same Jordan that parted, amen, with Joshua when the ark of God hit Jordan. The same Jordan that parted when Elijah was, uh, was following Elijah as he was about to be taken to heaven. And he used his garment and struck the water. And the Bible said the water gave way. The same Jordan. Let us go to the place of encounter. Because it's when we get to Jordan that the heavens are open the moment God said to you it's time to go to what's next for you the Lord will cause you to come to the place of power I'm, I'm telling you saying he will push you there go ahead go ahead time the word I come to the place of power there's a difference between hearing about God and seeing God in action yourself for the longest time the body of Christ we kept hearing about God. God is able to do this. God is able to do that. Jesus healed the woman with the issue of blood. Jesus fed the 5,000. God did this. Listen to me. We are going to Jordan. Can I have somebody go ahead and say, I'm going to Jordan. I'm going to Jordan. I'm not staying here where I am because where I am is too small. The Bible says in the days of his power his people shall be willing. I'm going back to the book of Acts of Apostle. I'm starting from chapter 2. I'm going all the way to chapter 3. I'm going to chapter 4. I'm going to chapter 5. In the book of Acts of Apostle, in chapter 2 the Holy Ghost came. In chapter 2, and the Bible says there was explosion and there was multiplication in amen in the kingdom of God and the Bible says there was increase because there was nobody in their means that was broke in Jesus name we are going back to Jordan am I talking to somebody do I have a generation of believers that would not settle for where they are are you going back to Jordan are you going back to the place of power 
to the place of the dwelling presence of God are you going back to the place of miracle in the name of Jesus that woman watching me that you have something sitting on your throat like you feel it nobody knows it but you know that there's something that is just there like it's stuck you've done a lot of scans they can't see anything but you feel it it irritates you and it's a demon spirit I'm telling you it's a demonic affliction I command right now in the name of Jesus let whatever is sitting on your throat be pushed out now by the Spirit of God up and out in the name of Jesus up and out right now there is peace and there's tranquility for you the power of God is in you it's for you it's moving through you let it be so and let it be done in the name of Jesus the Lord has told me he said watch out for what I'm going to be doing because there's a separation that's going on in the body of Christ right now I'm pushing those that will seek me in truth and spirit and be hungry for my power those that be hungry for my glory I'm going to push them into realms of unusual manifestation of my spirit and they're gonna to begin to walk in miracles that defy all of miracles manifestation of the move of God that shut, shut down entire cities as demon powers and demonic institutions are brought down in America and around the world we are ready we are going back to Jordan that's what we want to see that's the realm we want to move in please saints I gotta hold you there for just a few minutes because there's a lot of things God is doing on this altar today there's a level of alignment and victory that we are seeing as we begin to seek the Lord hallelujah and let us take now watch this every man a beam let us take every man a wood let us go to Jordan and let us cut every man a beam let's go to Jordan and let each person begin to engage begin to cut for himself a beam and let us make us a place there where we may dwell and he answered go ye hallelujah in the Bakusa Brate let us cut each man a wood listen to me you are gonna understand that God is gonna have you to begin to cut the wood because there's a building of the kingdom and the building of your life and God says I'm going to use your gift. I'm going to use your time. I'm going to use your capacity. I'm going to use, just release yourself to God. There's a level of release that goes inside the innermost of your being. You've never, ever released yourself to anything or anybody on that level inside of you. He says, I'm going to pull in inside of your spirit, man, and I'm going to release the expression of myself as you begin to cut the wood, you begin to cut the beam. You, can, you begin to get yourself ready. Somebody's been healed in their left ear. Thank you, Jesus. I release miracle in your left ear. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Any teenager that's afflicted by demonic spirit. If you have young people, young adult teenagers, afflicted by demonic spirit, schizophrenic demon, hearing voices, all kinds of mental health that are affected afflictions that come from the demonic realm are break it in the name of Jesus the Lord is speaking against the spirit of Lily the spirit that attaches itself to incubus and succubus portals and gateways I hear God say bind that spirit in the name of Jesus a spirit that has both organ male and female I'm tapping into some realms this morning saints we are navigating some depth of the Spirit of God I see a spirit that's shift shifted and is attached on somebody and it latches itself on you and sometimes you feel the intensity of the presence of this demonic spirit because it tries to grapple you sometimes I rebuke its power over you you spirit of Lilith that has a, a, a prosaic a spirit and tendency with both the male and the female organ I break your power I break your hold in the name of Jesus the Holy Ghost is moving fire is falling you begin to see some strange manifestations right now because when we get to Jordan everything happens I'm telling you saints when we get to Jordan monies that are tied up they are released 
when we get to Jordan, opportunities that are delayed are released. When we get to Jordan, we don't beg, we decree. We open our mouth, we speak with authority, and miracles begin to happen. In the name of Jesus, every attack on our children, I turn it back right now. Every hunters of destiny, every ones that lay hands with witchcraft and spell and voodoo and darkness, every creeping thing that's trying to target Amen. Some of the brightest minds in those young people. Some of the most talented ones. Some of the smartest ones. Now the devil try to attack them. Whoever is trying to latch on your children and derail them. I command the intervention of the spirit of God. I command a spirit of breakthrough from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I ask God to take over. I immerse you not just in water but in fire. For it is written, there is he that come after me. He will baptize you, baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. The blue flame of the Spirit of God. He covers your consciousness today in the name of of the Lord Jesus. Saints begin to shake off of you. Begin to shake away from your life. Everything and anything that represents uh, the debris. The shame. Because you're a child of God. You know the things that are given us freely by God. Through our redemption right in Christ Jesus. We must legislate them. We must speak it into existence. We cannot just sit idle and say well. The Lord blessed me already. I know it I'm automatically blessed. No. You've got to take it you've got to reinforce it the bible says in first timothy that the prophecy are given for warfare and so we stand together today to release what god is doing in the name of jesus we go to jordan we cut the wood we go to jordan to build the kingdom we go to jordan to build the house of god we go to jordan to see the rise of things in our lives this year 2023 Hear the word of God. It will not end without you having a major, significant, turning point miracle in your life. You're going to be able to say that year I bought a house. In that year, amen, I was able to start my degree. In that year, I entered ministry on a different level. In that year, I built the kingdom of God. In that year, the Lord won a hundred souls into God's kingdom through me. This year will not be one of those years that you're going to sit back and say, wait a minute, what happened that year? What is that one significant thing? that you could say took place in your life in 2023 it's the year of elevation fear the spirit of God it's the year of glory it's the year of manifestation it's not over brace up with me let's navigate this together God is ready there's an intensity in the spirit of God you know what I notice saints that sometimes everything looks normal until there's a prompting from the spirit of God and some of the major steps the major decisions that will alter your life, somebody around you may not necessitate it. It wasn't like it was obligated. It wasn't like somebody came and said, well, go ahead and do that. It came from your spirit. It came from the Holy Ghost. Because God recognized that you have stayed too long where you are. And those are the people I came to speak to today. The men of God, the women of God, who are having the staring of God. And you cannot explain it. Even if you're trying to tell somebody, they're like, okay, what are you talking about? I get you, but uh, I understand what you're saying. But you know, you know that there's a pool on your spirit. You know it. You know it. He's calling you to Jordan. And the Bible says, they ask that Elisha goes with them. So they tap into the source. And I say to people every time, to be resourceful, you must always re to the source to re means to do something again to repeat to redo to realign means to do something over again all over again that's what i'm asking god to do for you to tap you again into the source and once you are plugged into the source you are resourceful you will never run dry you can never run dry so you recognize the anointing that God has sent into your life. You recognize that anointed. You tap into that frequency. And it becomes a multiplying, magnifying factor to your journey. And that's why, amen, whatever you're tapping into increases you. Praise God. Deep call it on today. 
A lot of people have had incredible breakthrough because they're connecting with the altar of fire. The Holy Ghost is moving. God is sending a word. I've, I've heard people come to me and say, Pastor, it's unbelievable that every single time, the word that you're going to bring, either at the ministry, in one of our meetings, or one of our conferences, or the word you're going to give at the altar of fire is the same word that God is dealing with me on. People say that all the time. It's the same revelation. Sometimes with the accuracy of the right scripture, the same Bible verse, the same vocabulary of the spirit that I'm going to adopt is the same thing that God is dealing with people on. Because there's a frequency there. Come on, somebody. There's an alignment there. They know that we're moving on the same frequency of the spirit. God is, is sharpening them. Iron sharpens iron. Come on, somebody. The Bible says they ask Elijah, Elisha, come with us. And the presence of the Lord through his anointed servant became a part of that journey. You're going to see God move through you. Listen, saints, when they were going to go through this new venture, they had no idea that there was going to be some kind of glitch, some kind of challenge. And that's why the presence of God, the consciousness of the ministry that the Lord connects you with, and the flow of virtue to your life is a permanent, permanent part of your journey. I will not leave this place without the consciousness of the glory of God. I will not step out of this place without the blessing. You know, we have men of God in our ministry. They're going to preach someplace. They'll be like, Apostle, I have a speaking engagement and I bless them. I release that grace on their lives because I understand that one, two are better than one. When you connect to a flow, it's, it's, it's always better. Amen. You connect to a frequency, it reinforces you. You're not alone this year. God is standing with you. Miracles that you've never seen or you could not do alone by your own strength is going to be released. When we hit 2023, the Lord spoke to me specifically. Say said, this year, there's going to be collaborations. There's going to be partnership. There's going to be alignment. I'm going to bring people your way by my order, the order of the Spirit. And those people, when I bring them, the assignment with you is going to be collective. And with that level of alignment, I'm going to take your assignment and their assignment into places that they've never been and where you've never been. In other words, everything I show them, amen, you'll be able to see. And everything I show you, they'll be able to see. For iron sharpens iron. In the name of the Lord, any devil that's trying to keep you isolated this year, I rebuke it. Don't be isolated. Isolation brings desolation because people are looking for those who are perfect. They never find. They keep looking. They go from this church to that church. They're looking for those who are perfect. They never find. They go from this relationship to the others. They're looking for those who are perfect. They never find. Because right here, there are people who are on assignment into your life. And God put them there to restore, realign, refresh you, to renew you, to rejuvenate you. To motivate you, to encourage you, to hear you out, to speak life into you. And God is surrounding you with those kind of people. Builders and makers and shakers and influencers. They are there with you right now. Come on. I want you to walk with me a few more minutes, saints. The Lord's got more to tell us today. The Bible says he went with them. Amen. It went with them in verse 4. The Bible says, and it, it went with them, and when they came to Jordan, they cut down wood, verse 5. But as one was fell in a beam, the axe head fell into the water. Amen. And he cried and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. The axe head fell in the water. Of course, you see, the axe head is the livelihood of of the medieval people in Bible times. That is everything for them. The axe head was a weapon for war. The axe head was also what they would use to kind of do the cutting and, and sometimes it was an important part of their lives. It wasn't just about everybody who could afford to have an axe head. It was, it cost so much. It cost a lot of money to have an axe head. And you could tell that this man even told Elisha, he said, this axe head wasn't even mine in the first place. It cost money to get an axe head. And, and my axe head fell in the water. Master, alas, it was borrowed. 
And that's what goes on many times when the Lord has called you to do something significant. There's an axe head that may slip and fall in the water. And what does that mean? It means that you're losing strength when you need it the most. The axe head is the cutting edge. Somebody help me type the word cutting edge. The axe head is the cutting edge. It's the cutting edge. The axe head is the cutting edge. I want you to hear this. It's the cutting edge expression of the spirit of God in you. And that's what the enemy want to attack. It fell in the water. Every axe head that's fallen in the water today, I command it to begin to float up. In the name of Jesus, everyone's whose axe head has fallen in the water. I'm commanding the axe head to begin to float up. I sense a strong anointing in this place. See, sometimes I get a realm where I know that the, the, the natural word cannot articulate what God plays in my spirit. There's a prophetic dimension of the spirit of God that could only be articulated through tongues. The tongues of the spirit. And there is a depth that God is pulling out of someone's spirit right now. To align you and calibrate you on a frequency of the spirit of God that you've never seen before. Let the accent begin to flow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God showed me money is being released for people. The Spirit of the Lord said, I'm releasing resources. God showed me some money that's been released. There's some resources that have been released. If that's you, come on, go ahead and say, I received that word. The axe head is floating, said the Lord. The empowerment of your spirit is moving. The things that pertains to your inner man is floating. The things that you lost is being restored. Labro sante cachabrade. O si calabra sante de queto prade. The devil's been after your axe head, but he's a liar. That's a mighty wave of the Spirit of God that's just shifting people. Let the axe head be restored now, Holy Spirit. Let the axe head be restored. Let the areas of your life where you've been incapacitated, let those things that are holding you now, let it begin to lose their hold up of you. Right now. The Holy Spirit says, there are clouds and shadows. He said, I am causing the wind of my spirit to blow it away. Oh, my God, I give you praise. Every demon spirit has become an obstruction to you. I command it to be lifted up of your life today, right here. You're a child of the king. You're going to rise in glory. It's going to be a significant moment of power and revelation for you. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you glory. I'm navigating some real prophetic, you know, encounter saying, I'm telling you, oh, Jesus, we give you the praise and the glory. Keys are being given. The Lord showed me the keys. And you know, if you're following this ministry, how whenever God speaks about keys, people just come back with testimonies of major, major doors that are opening. For things that they could not ordinarily achieve in their own strength. God is releasing it now. Let it be done in the name of Jesus. There's a lady here. You've tried IVF to conceive twice and it was not working. The supernatural power of God comes on you for conception. Now. Oh, if the Lord gave a word about you, I want you to go and say, this is my word. And I receive it. I receive I receive in the name of the Lord Jesus. This is my word and I receive in the name of Jesus. We are rising high, saints. We're going higher. 
There's nothing the devil could do to hold us back. In the name of the Lord Jesus. There's somebody here, the Lord showed me, I see you with a passport. And I see the Lord opening doors to specific nations for you. And it's going to be for two things. Number one, for business. And number two, for ministry. I see sudden resources being released to your hands through businesses and then through ministry. You will not be the same again. You got to put your ears to the heartbeat of God every time. You have to know what it is that the Spirit of God is saying and doing in this season. Le manda kata. Le bazo ke la baze. Le bro satange de ke sobra de. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord, because you're doing it. Thank you, Lord, because angels have been released. The Lord said, Re release angels. Release angels right now across the world and let there be restoration. And let the things, Lord, that are broken be brought back into their rightful place. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to share this video today. A lot of people need to hear it. I want you to share this video. If you haven't done it, if you're just joining us, if this is your first time, I want you to please subscribe to the YouTube channel and press the notification bell and be here with us every single weekday, Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. We are going higher. We're not stopping. The, the grace of God is upon us. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. We love you, saints. It is well with you. Light of God all around you. Stay blessed. Stay lifted. Be, be empowered. Be renewed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And always remember, this is God at work. God bless you. Consuming fire. Let's meet at the altar of fire Let's meet at the altar Let's meet at the altar The redeeming cast down Let your glory come down To break a new ground Where your mercies abound